Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Game Pass Shop GUI, which you can click on, and it'll prompt them with the Game Pass. Let's get right into it. Alright, so the first thing you're going to do, once you're in a studio, is you're going to go over here to start your GUI, click the plus, and add a new screen GUI. This is going to be like the, the box that pops up here, that has all the Game Passes, and it's like that. Alright, so we can just name this whatever we want, I'm just going to name this Game Pass GUI, and then click on the plus, click the plus inside of the GUI, and then click add a text button. This is going to be the button to open up the game passes. I'm just going to add a UI to here, I'm going to add a UI corner to bevel the edges and make it a little bit nicer, and then I'm just going to change the text a bit. I'm just going to name this game pass shop like that and I'm gonna change the font to a cartoon font there we go and we can change the background if we want so we can change it to like a light green or a light blue or something like that yeah that looks fine just tweak this a bit there we go all right I think that looks pretty good now we're going to want to add a frame. This is going to be our main frame that will display all of the game passes. You can add it wherever you want. I'm just going to add it like right down here. Actually, I'm going to add it in the middle of the screen right here. Oh, there we go. I'm just going to make it a bit bigger about that. Then we can add a text label to this. I'm just going to add a text label to the top. Let me change the background to this really quick. Change it to uh, uh, to a light green. It's a bit too bright. Let me change it like a... Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Alright, now I'm going to change the background to transparency to 1. And rich text and text scaled. Then I'm just going to change this to game passes. And we change the font to cartoon. There we go, that looks pretty good so far. Now, you can you can change this to whatever you want. You can like um, you can customize this, make it look however you want, but just follow, try to follow along with what I'm doing. Then I'm gonna add a UI corner to that to make it beveled on the edges. And now, inside of this, this we're gonna add a image button. Basically, this will, um, this will be what we click on to get our game pass. So I'm gonna add a bevel to that really quick the UI corner and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get an image for that really quick I'm just gonna do VIP oh. VIP and I wouldn't recommend just getting a random image I would recommend having the same image as you have for your game pass so I would do that if I were you uh, I'm just doing this for the video and I'm just gonna go down here to the image and change the image to that there we go And now we have this. This will be this. Will be, you click on this, and it'll, it'll uh, have the thing pop up where you can buy your Game Pass. Let me make this a bit bigger. All right, just like that. And it, um, when you're done, you can just duplicate this and move it around and make multiple of these if you want. Um, I'm just gonna rename this to VIP. And now we're gonna click plus on the on the image button. And we're gonna want to add a value. Go to go to down here to a number value. And I'm gonna rename this to ID. Basically, what we're gonna do here is in the value we're gonna paste the in the ID of the game pass. And so we're gonna want to add a script right here. So click on the the image button and click add a local script. And now in here we're gonna want to do local market place equals game at get service marketplace service marketplace service just like that and now we're going to want to do script dot parent so this will get the image button dot mouse button one click so obviously when the player clicks it uh, connect a function just like that 
and inside of here you're going to want to do marketplace service or marketplace like you're going to do this right here marketplace and then you're going to do um prompt game pass purchase and basically this will prompt the user with the game pass purchase and basically you see the player instance for that we're going to want to do game dot players dot local player comma and this is where we're going to put the id of the game pass so this is going to be the id right here so i'm going to do script dot parent dot id dot value and that would be the value of the id all right and so right here on the id now once you're done with that once you have the script you're going to want to go to the value and you're going to paste in the id of your game pass that way basically what happens is when they click this it'll prompt them with the game pass purchase so let's click play test right now and when we click the vip it'll pop up with would you like to buy vip but now there's the problem of when we click this button the game pass shop does not close so we're going to make it close right now all right so we're going to want to close out of that we're going to go to the text button right here you have you're going to add in a local script and we're going to do script dot parent to that mouse click connect function and then you're going to do um if script dot parent dot parent dot frame dot visible equals true then then um then script dot parent dot parent dot frame dot visible equals false and this is basically say if the frame is visible, then when you click it, make it fault, make it not visible. All right, so then you're going to, want to do else, else if script dot parent dot parent dot frame dot visible equals false, then script dot parent dot parent dot frame frame dot visible. Oh, whoops, visible equals true. So basically, if the frame is visible, it makes it not visible. If it is not visible, it makes it visible. And now we can click on the frame right here and go down and click visible. Check that. That way it, it turns invisible. And now we hit play test. Now there's no frame GUI right here. If we click the game pass shop, it'll pop up with the game passes. And you can click on this and it'll prompt you with the game pass. And now we can just click game pass shop again and it'll disappear. And that's pretty much for this tutorial. Make sure to like and subscribe, and see you in the next one.